What up? It's your boy DJ BK, and we are back with another 15 first Halloween edition. Uh, this is another one of those games that I'm glad it's a daylight. <laughs> I'm glad it's a daylight, and I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and play this now. Because it's probably going to scare the poop out of me. It is Fatal Frame. This is Fatal Frame for the Xbox. I believe it also was released on uh, PlayStation 2 as well. Uh, but this is Fatal Frame 1. I believe, I think there's maybe three? I don't remember. I'll have to double check. I know there's at least two. At least two. But I think there, I think there's three. Anyways, without further ado, let's transition. Transition! I'm gonna put my pants. So this is Himuro Mansion. What is wrong with you? Don't you know you don't go into these places? You could have just went to the convenience store. You could have went to, a, you know, sing karaoke. There are so many things that you could have done Where instead of. In search of someone. Oh, I guess I mean, can't. Maybe they're at the convenience Jinsei store. Jinsei Takamura, a famous novelist, and a man my brother was very indebted to, disappeared while researching a book. Call the police. Let them get haunted up. Well, he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamura's whereabouts. He was going far away. <laughs> no, it's based on a true story. Okay, now you're just really trying to make me poop my pants. This intro music doesn't sound like it belongs with a scary game. I feel like I'm gonna play like Fantasy Star Online or something. Okay. Adjust the brightness on your TV to see all four people. No. Oh, uh, why? Uh, this is one of those classic things where like you really like this is something that you're super glad got done away with i was talking to my buddy stay yuki aka or steve aka stay yuki yeah stay yuki's his first name um uh about this the other day these i completely forgot these retro horror games expected you to adjust the brightness on your tv instead of like having an in-game brightness adjuster but these days games have it where you can adjust it directly in game so like for example i don't think that my tv has brightness controls it does like auto brightness which is is really obnoxious but like ugh, i hate this so this is another one of those things where there's supposed to be four people in this photo and I can't even make out that those are all people. Just saying. So, yeah, that's that's fun. Mm -hmm. All right. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. Yo. <laughs> Sorry. Ta -da. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. Mansion. 
for the record, in Japanese culture, um, if you hear the word manchon in... Uh, My brother was in search of someone. Oh, we already heard this. In Japanese, they are talking about, like, a really nice, like, apartment. In a, like, a giant kind of skyscraper type um, uh, apartment complex. So, they don't associate the word mansion with, like, a giant house like we do in the West. I think in English we call them skyline apartments, maybe? Uneasy. Like he was going far away. No. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going home. Himuro. In trouble. The forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Okay. This is one of those games where I really wished that they had the original voice acting. What is that? What's up with that little... Oh, okay. Does that mean I can interact with something? So it kind of looks like a dead body. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, I can look through. Oh, I can take pictures. I guess that's why it's called Fatal Frame, huh? I gotta be honest, I don't appreciate this. <laughs> I don't appreciate this at all. But, uh, yeah, this is one of, like, this voice acting's pretty terrible. Like, I think they're trying to go for that kind of, like, slightly out of it, like, cute girl voice. Kind of, it's kind of creepy, and, yeah, that you hear in, like, Japanese horror movies and stuff like that. But, like, in here... She didn't sound really kind of creepy. She just sounded like she was doing bad, bad voice acting. That's, I mean, that's my opinion, but... Oh, what? There's an angry-looking mask on the wall. That's so descriptive. Yeah, let's take a picture. Yeah, that's one of those, like, traditional uh, type masks that you might see. Like the wooden type masks or whatever. Almost like a uh, samurai would wear something. But yeah, his voice, I, hey, I'm not only uh, pointing fingers at uh, her voice actor, his voice acting is also equally terrible. It's not convincing, so I'd much rather have heard the original Japanese voice acting with uh, subtitles. Oh, it's a save. You know what, let's go ahead and just save. If I die, that way I can continue on with the 15 firsts without repeating everything again and 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 again. How are you safe at the cameras? You know, you gotta give it to this game. At least, 
at least you can see in this game. Those other games were awful. Granted, in the Silent Hill Wii game, you can still you can see pretty well, uh, but there are some other games. Oh my gosh. was well if it was like an animal wreaked havoc in here it was probably Inoshishi and Inoshishi are uh, Japanese wild boars and they are crazy This is so creepy. <laughs> Look at how that looks like a face. Neat. It's going in the collection. Yeah, see, I knew samurai. Okay, let's be honest though. Oh, I can walk with it out. Okay. Okay, that was super creepy. <laughs> the music just s suddenly stopped. Oh, it's uh, one of those, uh, their dragon doodles. It's a, uh, it's one of those dragon masks uh, from the uh, uh, dragon ceremony or whatever. Yeah, this doesn't exist. This would have already been put in a museum. Neat. Is this supposed to be an old katana? Well, he better have a permit. Uh, old school uh, stove in the house. That's so cool. You can still... S okay, uh, um... I don't appreciate that. You can still see that in, um, uh, okay, this must be relevant. What is this? Ugh. What's this say? It says something in Japanese. I can't read it though. I'm sure. I'm sure it's something creepy like "death, death, die, die" or something ridiculous like that. Ooh. Don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs. Bro, this is a bad idea. Ugh. No. This notebook, it's Mr. Takamine's. I wonder if we'll find him. <laughs> 
that was Mr. Takamine. So he did come here. Pretty, pretty sure that said Campas. Like, it's supposed to be Campus, but with a Z. Pretty sure that's a notebook company in Japan. Shooting ghosts. She goes, hold up the camera with the B button and press the shutter button with the A button to attack ghosts. I don't like this. Trying to run. I'm trying to get my camera out. Come on. the crap there we go did I just defeat him expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learn of its unique power to capture ghosts. I captured a ghost with this camera. It has magical abilities. Okay.
This game is freaky. You know, y'all need Jesus. This is exactly why you have all these issues. Y'all don't know Jesus. Well, I am certainly glad that the time is up because this game is freaky despite the terrible voice acting. The freaking controller throbs like a heartbeat. Is this supposed to be a glare at the bottom from the glass? Don't get it. You gon' get it. But yeah. This game is freaky, and uh, I recommend it. Uh, I definitely recommend, if you can, play it in the Japanese, just because I feel like the voice acting would probably be more convincing, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I'm going to have to look up some Japanese Let's Plays of this just to see if it's worth playing in, you know. If they're both terrible, then play it in the language <laughs> that you're comfortable with, but... I don't know. The graphics are fun. Especially these kind of cutscene graphics are really good. Uh, when it gets to the main character, he kind of looks overly washed out. Like, his face is, like, very, very clear. Which uh, makes him look, I guess, less natural. I would say she looks a little more natural. There's a little more detail to her face or whatever, but... Interesting. So apparently, we made it to a second chapter where we're playing this girl. My brother was here. <laughs> so, the, the brother's friend disappeared, the brother disappears, and now the girl is here. It's such a freaky game. So, um... Ooh. Uh, let's transition out of this. <laughs> let's, let's transition out of this. Getting too freaky. <laughs> I don't want you guys to have to, like, listen to me. And in the background, it's like horror movie sounds. Um... So... Overall, I would say uh, it's a 
with the voice acting, it's like a three out of five. I really am perturbed by the voice acting. I it does not really it it's kind of breaking for me. Um, I think if they had better voice acting, the game could be a lot more. Uh, I think a lot scarier. But like you keep on getting broken out of it by like listening to them speak. You're like, ah, shut up. <laughs> like, uh, like the whole like how like stupid do they think the gamers are? They're like, this camera is magical and it captures. It can capture ghosts. Like th n that was not even remotely convincing. Like. Would you not be, like, completely shocked that you were able to defeat this ghost with a camera? I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, but other than that, it does what it's supposed to. It is scary. It's freaky. I wish the controls were a little better because uh, it kind of gets a little wonky when you're trying to, like... Like, I was sitting there trying to take a picture of the ghost, and I wasn't exactly sure, like, if I was supposed to aim at his face or if I could hit any parts of his body. Um, it's it's a little confusing at first, but I think over time uh, you'll get really used to taking down ghosts or whatever. But when the controls are still new, it's really hectic. Like, I, I was trying to run from him, but I couldn't remember which button was run. And when he attacks you, it, like, kind of saps your health, and so you kind of walk slowly. So, uh, but I think it does what it's supposed to. If you want to play a scary retro game, pick this up. It's not terrible. There are much worse games. Um, I really want to say 4 out of 5, because I've played a lot of terrible horror games. And this seems like head and shoulders above those games but those other games were like like two out of five or like one out of five so mm, th three and a half i think if i continue to play it it might grow on me a little more to a four but i think 3.5 <laughs> is where i'm gonna go with this uh the the music in the ambient scary noise is good that's the kind of stuff you want in a horror game it keeps you scared um, and like the random, like silence gets you too. So, I mean, some of the other games I was playing, it's just like, you're walking around and there's not a single bit of ambient noise. And so you're like, I know I'm supposed to feel scared right now, but there's nothing scary happening. So, uh, I think they nailed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Did you play this? Uh, what would you rate this game? And if you have any good recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. Remember, we're going for Halloween or horror. Uh, if it's Halloween, we can get like superhero games up in here, that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comment section below. If you like what I do, give me a like, share, subscribe. And as always, love, peace, Afro Grease, happy Halloween, and I'm out of here. <laughs>